Hello, hello, my people. How are you doing? Hope you are all doing fine. I'm doing fine myself. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. This is the channel on children. It is called the Pediatric World. So my name is Jemi Naftali and this channel is a channel on kids welfare. I create the awareness and also the know-how to everybody on common illnesses affecting children while growing up. I use a very simple language here. I want to be a, a layman so that people can understand. I want to involve everybody into management of these children, especially the mothers because they are the key uh, caregivers. So welcome into today's episode. And in today's episode, we want to take care of the newborns, the essential a newborn care. What care do we give to these children immediately that they are born? This is what we mean by the essential newborn care. So we want to, first of all, the, the care number one, we want to keep these children warm. So, and this is by maintaining temperatures of 36.5 degrees Celsius to 37 0.5 degrees Celsius. These are the temperatures you want to maintain. So we don't we don't want to go below the 36.5 and again we do not want to go above the 37.5 degrees because these are will be fevers and we do not want that. So other ways we do is we wipe the babies immediately they are born. We want to wipe them with a pre-warmed towel. We just don't pick up a towel anywhere. We want to pre-warm it before. Then we clothe these children. And their clothes again are put uh, in a warmer so that they can get warm before uh, we clothe them. So this is a way of keeping these uh, newborns warm. So that is uh, care number one, keeping warm. Uh, number two, we want to do uh, cord care. So cord care is something that has raised so many questions. Mother, uh, mothers are asking, what are we using currently? How do we do it? So I want you to be very, very keen here. So cord care, we want to take care of this cord because we normally see this is where our children will get infections through if it is the cord is not taken care of. So what we use uh, currently, what is recommended currently is something we call chlorohexidine digluconate 7.1% gel. It is a gel. This is what uh, is recommended currently. So we want to apply on the cord immediately after birth, after cutting the cord. And then you want to apply it once daily for the first seven days. Please be very keen here. We apply it immediately after birth, after the cord has been cut. Then we do it once daily for the first seven days. So, and this is for a term baby. A term baby is that baby that came, uh, uh, came, uh, reached 37 weeks gestation, which is the recommended time. So for a preterm, preterm is that baby who came before, they came before, uh, the expected time so they came before the 36 weeks gestation so we want to apply the gel again once so cord care is key it is another it's second essential after keeping warm second essential uh, care newborn care so number three we want to give vitamin k why we give vitamin k is because we do not want to release the, these babies home after they are born and we get risk of bleeding they can go bleed from the umbilical cord or from anywhere. So that is the importance of giving a vitamin K. So all babies born in the hospitals should receive vitamin K immediately after birth. So in case these babies were not are born in hospital, maybe the mother got the baby at home or because of other uh, various reasons, they came later after birth, you should still give as long as they are below 14 days of life. So below two weeks of life, you still go on and give vitamin K. How do we give it? We measure, we give one milligram, one milligram, uh, if and what determines the amount to give is the kilos of this baby, the birth weight of the baby. So if the baby is 1.5 kilo kgs, and above, we want to give one milligram uh, of this uh, vitamin K, and it is usually given IM. IM means through the muscle. So through the muscle, it is IM you use 90 degrees Celsius, but we use the thighs. We use the thighs like this direct to give the vitamin K. And this is soon after birth. Or if there were some delays because of giving birth at home or things like that, before 14 days of uh before 14 days of life, you still can give. 
if the child is below 1.5 kgs if the child is below 1.5 kgs we want to give 0 0.5 milligrams again we use uh, through the im the intramuscular im means int intramuscular through the muscles and we are saying we use the thighs here so that is another essential newborn care vitamin k very very uh very very important we also want to administer something we call teo this is tetracycline eye ointment. We apply on the eyes of this newborn. We want to take care of the eyes. We don't want to get, this is to, to prevent the eye infections that may come in. Newborns are at a risk of getting eye infections. Sometimes they get a whitish discharges from the eyes. So we want to prevent this. And this should be routine. To every newborn, they should get this TEO, tetracycline eye ointment. Another essential uh, newborn care we want uh, to be sure of is growth, how these children are growing. So normally we say every baby loses kgs uh, immediately after, the, after they, are, they are born, the birth weight uh, is going to reduce uh, for the first week of life. And then they regain weight after the first week of life. So they regain their birth weight at, uh, they regain kgs after one week of life so the, the second week of life we are saying the first week of life they lose k kilos but the second week of life they regain so when it comes uh, to the preterms preterms we say they are the babies that came before before the 37 weeks gestation so these ones should gain at least uh, 10 to 15 grams per day of the body weight every day after seven days of life so this amount that a preterm should you calculate and the kgs that should be gained after one week of life is between 10 to uh, 15 grams per day also for the term they are going to gain more than the preterms the term ones are reached the 37 weeks gestation here they are going to gain more and they're going to they're supposed to gain 20 to 30 uh, grams uh, per day and if not, if this is not happening to either preterm, if the preterm has not gained between 10 to 15 grams and the term has not gained uh, 20 to 30 grams uh, per day, then we know there is an issue. So this, we check the right um, the feed that we are giving that is being given if we are giving the right amount uh, of feed. So we might, we might uh, see that there is a problem, there is something that is going on in terms of feeding if the, the kilos have not been gained according to the uh, to what we are saying. Another essential newborn care, another essential newborn care is uh, vitamins and minerals. Very, very important. So this is uh, to the premature infants. Premature, again, we are saying these are the babies that come before the 36 weeks. Or a child who is less than 2 kgs, these are the children that we should give vitamins and minerals supplements. So these ones should receive vitamins and minerals daily once they are on full feeds or age of two weeks for a minimum of six months to one year. So this is how long we should give these vitamins and also minerals. So here uh, we are we are giving those children that are preterm. We are saying preterms that children be, uh, that came before 36 weeks gestation or a child who is less than 2 kgs. We want to put them on minerals, on vitamins. So, and you have to do this for up to minimum of six weeks. I mean, yes, six months to one year. Yeah, this is very, very crucial and this is very, very important. So what are some of these vitamins and minerals that you are talking about? So number one, we want to give uh, 2.5 meals of multivitamins uh, daily. This is one of the vitamins that we are saying, 2.5 meals. Uh, another thing they should get is folate. Folate, uh, it's folic acid. We should give at least 2.5 milligrams weekly. We give once per week. They also need to receive iron supplementation, the, these small babies, the ones that came before the 37 weeks gestation. Also, we need to give vitamin D, that is about 400 international units uh, orally daily. So this is for obvious reasons. These babies did not reach the, the right time to, to be delivered. So we want to supplement because 
their muscles may be weak that's why we want to give the vitamin d for strong muscles we also want to give daily phosphorus very very important also we want to give phosphorus and these are the vitamins and minerals that these children below 2 kgs or children that came before the 36 weeks gestation should receive this is uh for the preterms only the term babies they are okay because they they reach the right time of delivery and like this are uh, other we are calling the preterms now the the last and not the least uh in in essential newborn care we want to do the kangaroo mother care we call it the kmc i know i mentioned it somewhere check it somewhere where i was doing the uh I was doing also the essential. This one I've come it broadly. I had talked about it, but it was not as broad. And I wanted to update it, the current use of the newborn uh, care. So check it somewhere. We are going maybe to see in a, an, a separate episode the importances of doing the kangaroo mother care. Kangaroo means skin to skin contact. When the baby is born, we want to place the baby into the, the skin of the baby and that of the mother should be, should be into contact. So you place the baby inside here and then we cover uh, the baby inside there. So they get that bond, the bond between. The, one thing that, that they receive is the bond. It also promotes uh, breastfeeding. Also the warmth there. So this is the importance of kangaroo and it is very, very important. So this, uh, that was an episode on newborn uh, care, essential newborn care. All the things we have said we should give to this newborn. So if you are an, in a hospital, maybe you know what the, your child should get immediately after they are born. You have at least an idea. You can ask uh, depending with where uh, you're giving birth. So thank you so much for keeping tuned. I believe uh, we've worked together. If you have any questions, please go to my, to the uh, comment section. Comment, ask me anything. Also, if you have not subscribed, what are we waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to be part of this wonderful family yes we are above 1k subscribers and i say uh thank you so much we want to go on and the next we want to target is 5k subscribers and i know it is possible so if you're watching this and you have not subscribed please subscribe to be part of us also hit the gray button the notification bell so that you can know every time i'm posting a new video here so thank you so much till next time bye bye